ceased, vanished, passed away. Why? Because you have the Word of God. So the way it's given today, the way that desire comes today is God's Word. I've heard preachers through the years describe your call. And they talk about some experience right after when God spoke to them. Immediately, you got to say, wait a minute. God speaks through his word. He doesn't speak through experiences. The classic illustration of that, to me, is, is, is uh, the old story about the, the guy that was standing before the ordination council. And they said, well, explain to us your, your call to the ministry. And the guy says, well, I was out flying corn one day. And I saw something. Had to mean go preach Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the elders there said, Son, we've heard you preach. We think we misunderstood. It meant go plow corn. <laughs> <laughs> See, when it's outside of the scripture, how do you decide what it is? Same thing you want it to be. But when it's born of the truth of God's word, it's sort of like Jeremiah said, The word burned in my bones. I couldn't contain myself. That's what. It's not a call that comes out yonder. It's a call that comes from the Word of God in the heart of the believer, yeah. in the heart of the man. And so the laying on of hands is an issue of identification. Moses laid his hands on Joshua. He tra he's transferring. He said, he is, I'm identifying him as my successor. Laying on, do you remember in Leviticus? They took, they laid the hands on the, the scapegoat. They were just identifying himself. The laying on of hands is, he says, don't, don't lay hands on any man suddenly. We call that ordination. We call it, it's a, it's, a, it's a situation where we say, we endorse what we see going on in this. We're not giving him anything. We're saying we see God's working in it. And want to identify with it and want to be able to say to everyone that this is someone we recognize as having the desire and we want to, we want to identify with it and we want to stand and recognize it. Amen. So that's what we mean when we talk about ordination. It's not, we're not imparting anything to Bobby this morning. We're just confirming what we already see in his life and ministry. Right. Okay. Someone says, well, you didn't have a long ordination examination. Well, we really have because we've known him a long time. We didn't have to put him in front of a, of a council and ask questions. We already knew the, the answers to the questions that we would ask through association. Right. We didn't have to get his wife and grill her because we already know we know his wife. And these folks have demonstrated themselves in our life and our ministries. And so we don't need a special kind of council of ordination in the sense of, of Give me a questionnaire like that. That's the, that's the standard way people do it. Because there are ordaining people that don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's a good idea. That's not the idea. The label on the hands is this is someone we know. We so I'm going to ask Bobby if he'll come. Somebody needs to take some pictures. My wife is going to be. You got a pick? Okay. Uh, Greg, if you'll come. And Elvis, if you come. And, and Alan. We'll come, I'm willing, we're going to stand over here so that Elvis doesn't have to climb the stairs, okay? You can hang that on your wall. That and five dollars get you a cup of coffee at the park Starbucks. <laughs> He was trying to, he knew my first name was Charles. Uh -huh. He was trying to get him good. There you go. But he, he, signed, he signed that so if you ever want to sign a check, you'd know how to sign uh, it. Can you put your photo on that bottom stuff? There you go. Sure, there you go. A little less. Like the red of your Praise the Lord. Take a picture. <laughs> I guess they're taking them. Yeah. <laughs> Look this way one time. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Each of these brothers want you to know that we stand with you in the ministry. Amen. 
And a man asked me one time, he said, what would you do if you got thrown out of what you're doing? I said, I'd go home. <laughs> and that's the answer. And we want you to know you got a home. And that we're, we're, we're the people that stand with you. And when there is questions or whatever, we're the people that stand with you. Okay. And so you have, I want you to know you have a home. When you preach the grace message, you're out on your own often. And uh, it's important that everybody understands we're not alone. But we have friends, we have ministry, and we have associations. So, look, praise Thank the Lord, brother. Very much. I, I look up to each and every one of you very, very much. Brother Elvis, look this way. <laughs> I want to get a frontal view of you. <laughs> Full. Full frontal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that you say it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> we'll have a word I don't even know how to get this thing off. Our Father, we thank you today that we can just stand here with, with Bobby and with his wife and in the presence of friends and associates, fellowship with the saints. Thank you for the privilege of the work of the ministry that you give us to do. And thank you that you put into his heart and the heart of his wife that desire to not just believe something and not just have it live, but to raise a testimony up that it's available to others and to commit themselves to the preaching and the proclamation and the teaching of your word. We want everyone to know that we recognize it working in, in them. And we stand here as, as each of us as men who have that heart, have that desire, have that calling that comes through your grace. And we want to welcome him and our privilege of identifying together with him in that. I just pray that as he walks day by day and as the work of the ministry is privileged to carry on with him, that the joy and the excitement, the peace, just the wonder of your grace as it lives in us. Paul said he, without we're fighting, for then we're fears. Daily comes the care of the churches. No matter what the circumstance, it's that wonderful peace that the God of hope can fill us with, the joy and peace of believing might be theirs as they walk day by day in that work that you give us to do until you come for us. So we appreciate them, we love them, we value the, the opportunity to stand here and identify with them. We just pray that the days ahead will give them things to do that will take eternity to see the fruit of them. We thank you in Christ's name. Thank you very much. Thank you. Rick, I've sent those pictures to you, but it'll probably take a week for the reception we have here. <laughs> <laughs>